Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Computer Wetness Day. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at the new revolution of inkjet printers that is ink tank printers. So let's dive right into it. So first we have to understand what the hell is an inkjet printer. Now the simplest understanding of this is basically there are ink that is squirted onto the paper basically ink drops on a paper you're not printing it by a brush you're not using lasers or fancy things like that you're simply dropping ink on a paper now the dots that we are talking about is microscopic you cannot see it even on the lowest resolution you're not supposed to see the dots itself unless you go very close or use a magnifying glass so generally they are made of microscopic c y m k dots now what is this c m y k now many of you are familiar with newspaper must be familiar like you know generally there is a uh, small strip generally always all newspaper have this four dots where they have uh, these colors and this microscopic dot looks something like this now what this c y m k is is very simple it's what we call cyan yellow magenta and key now key represents black yes that's i have no idea why that is now cmyk is a bit different uh, than rgb that we have in the computer you can check my uh, previous episode on uh, basically color calibration so we have these dots and we do this now you might be wondering how the heck we drop these kind of precise dots and you have to do millions of them in a paper how do we do it now we do that we, with the help of what we call print heads something like this now in this print head there is two primary technology there may be some others but these are the two primary uh, components the first is piezo uh, second is thermal now if you know hp printers they generally use thermal so basically their ink generally have a little bit of water so whenever they need to you know squirt uh, ink drop they will uh, you know cause an explosion steam explosion and it will squirt a little bit of ink drop so the holes are generally so small that even if you flow it with a fluid it will not drop but when that steam explosion happen it drops it and uh, epson printers generally use what we call piezoelectric so that piezo is called squirt the fluid basically there is a think of it this way there is a sort of speaker that uh, vibrates in order to drop them so these are the two main technologies generally your printer print head is integrated into your cartridge so that's why you have these sort of thing generally they may themselves have the print head so this is the whole idea you have paper you drop small small inks inks are generally made of cmyk and you either use a thermal system or you use a piezo systems so and if you want to understand more detail i have provided the link down below so the problem came about the inkjet system is is basically they started to do what we call uh, blade and razor model basically generally razor companies they do not make money from handles and basically razor they may, uh, they make the money by selling you blades now that's okay but problem is uh, the company that started uh, doing this in printer department they kind of give people a false sense of hope now the problem was that printer itself was very cheap so everybody was like okay cool everything is fine, uh, dandy but ink itself ended up costing more than the printer so this is a hp printer and this is the cartridge that goes into some hp printer here's the deal this and this cost exactly the same now you might be wondering how the heck that's possible like that is like a two kilo object and this is barely few grams how the heck that makes sense yes that's the problem the business model that a blade and razor model does not apply properly here and it causes a lot of confusion now to understand this company wants to make money it's very simple now problem is the customer experience should be good like if company is buying a, like you know trying to sell them uh, blades in expensive blades in order to make their money back okay no problem but it should be you know translate into good experience for you if you use new new blades and you get a clean shave you are like okay it's a bit expensive but okay cool but in uh, consumer industry it translated into very 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 painful experience for even the loyalist customer so what does that translate it is basically the you could buy the printer very cheaply like you can just go out there and fifty dollars sixty dollars or one hundred dollars and boom you got the printer no problem but the moment you start to run them and like you know get some print out each print would end up costing upwards of one dollar to five dollar which may not sound that much but if you are doing like let's say just a you know college worth of project or like you do a lot of print that's just uneconomical and people might be like okay why not buy laser again 
laser starts at ten thousand dollars. So that false hope starts to pay a problem. Now you might be like, okay, but uh, doesn't that mean the system will last longer because you know the cartridge is being replaced, the print head being replaced every time, so you will get a perfect print? Actually, no, because they wanted to make cartridge as cheaply as possible. The print head is also compromised. meaning clogging print head meaning jammed print head meaning worse experience so not only the reality was that you can buy the printer for very cheap you can't run it but if you bought it it's flat out unreliable and i'm talking with first party experience i'm not talking like okay you bought hp and you put third party crap you could put a, a first party system and flat out it will not work drive from driver issues to basically the fact that hp started to create hundreds of cartridge system like they have printers so you would think like they will have two or three types of cartridge let's say they have one standard format for all in one and they make uh, multiple printers but they have one cartridge but no they are like every printer ends up getting ev- uh, different different types of cartridge so you may have a hp store and you're like okay i'm going to go and buy the sir we don't have 606 uh, cartridge system sir we don't have 16 18 cartridge system so you could understand this this became very painful for the end user who's will to pay now at that point uh, company started to become evil now i'm not taking that word uh, lightly what i mean by evil it's not they are charging you more they actually started scamming this now many of you are familiar with this which we call smart chip so this smart chip was only, it had only one job basically screw up your cartridge so s pen did this very badly where they put you will put the cartridge you will print things out everything is awesome randomly your ink will go uh, you know it will start showing your ink level is low and then printer will stop printing you remove it out insert it back again it has 50% ink left many times when it will stop working you open the basically there is a sticker you open it and drop the ink there is a lot of ink left so they literally somebody's job was to design a chip and scam people it's like even though i paid super expensive amount of money for the cartridge cartridge will not allow me to drain itself basically you bought a car and they are like okay i'm going to let you fill in the ink um, basically fill in the tank and you cannot use the tank because i will decide whenever that happens and this smart chip was uh, introduced on all the previous system and it, it ended up with a lot of driver issue and all that basically they flat out became evil flat out like they literally understand this somebody's job was this like somebody got paid to build a chip that uh, you know blocks your print printer system then even that was not enough they started to you know basically people realized like okay they will only buy black cartridges and uh, not use color system okay cool here's deal the company realized no they are not selling enough cartridges so they are like okay uh, send driver code in such a way that it will start you squirting red it will start squirting uh, cyan magenta on the black itself so even though you do black and white print your coloring will be drained and once coloring is drained boom you have to buy the both cartridge otherwise printer will not work so flat out they went evil like as in proper illegal and when you try to remove this chip and try to use the printer printer will be bricked you go for warranty they will uh, they will not use uh, you know give you warranty because you know it's tampered or you know outside warranty there has been case which went to supreme court and things of that nature and supreme court is like yeah uh, print com- printer company has to give warranty you cannot be like okay this is a car you change the tire now a car is no longer a car that's not how that works so customer experience was really bad with inkjet printer because they went flat out evil it was not expensive it was evil so did we had a solution well s pen was losing the market not only their reputation was compromised uh, they were no longer uh, you know even a small uh, comparison from canon canon were dominating the photo printing market hp was dominating everything else so s pen like in one desperate attempt did one good thing they are like okay we're going to release ink tank system this is their ink tank system now that changed the industry because if one company starts doing it other has to follow it consequence every printer is now more more expensive you are talking about at least twice or three times the cost of the printer now benefit you can actually print with this so be mindful the ink uh, nozzle jamming and all that they generally is not an issue for photo printer or pro printers because pro printers are so expensive if those printers suffered any issue uh, that will come back with uh, you know a gi- giant class action lawsuit so for this reason uh, generally pro printers were kind of safe but they were idiotically expensive so point was cheap printers equal very bad experience so why the hell make cheap printers so epson was like okay we learned from our mistake we'll make a one good one and uh, recently they've been making so many new attempts is that this is their current gen 
they have one old ink tank model this is ink bottle model now what does this ink bottle has that many people complain is still hassle to fill it up so I, I don't like this idea but it, I understand why they did it and it has its merit is simply because now if you have the bottles you bought from S Pen you cannot put a red bottle into yellow slot so the bottle is keyed so you can only put one uh, onto the another so it's kind of awesome that S Pen did this like of course I understand why they did it they were losing the market share and their reputation was trashed but uh, I'm glad they did it and sooner every com major company followed so you can buy from Canon you can buy from HP that has an ink tank so please i will urge you before you buy any of these printer please for crying out loud check the price if it's too low generally it's a shitty printer flat out it's that's why this problem became this bad it's like people wanted to believe that you can have a printer for like you know uh, 50 60 dollars it's just not possible it's just flat out not possible so if you have an ink tank printer that is very cheap there is a very good chance they are using very uh, low quality print head which you have to replace again and again so please do not go for very cheap ones higher quality ones generally because they have sometimes even they have longer warranty so if you see a printer that is like you know have same features but you have another printer that has like three years warranty compared to one year go with three year one please because your experience is directly proportional to how much money company can make out of you so and if you want to rely on your printer because you know once in a while that you need an important print and your printer craps out at that moment you will be screwed over so do understand that please do not go for like a rushing into like you know i will buy the cheapest uh, ink tank printer and if you want to have a good experience with uh, you know network printing please buy one which has ethernet wi-fi on these things are a joke simply because they do not have the antenna they rely on pcb circuit which to give you a context is so weak that um, even your mobile uh, has actual antenna like there is actual antenna in them so please if you really want network printing try uh, ethernet you will be much happier your printing network will be much more secure you will thank me afterwards so be mindful please do not jump for the cheapest solution even in ink tank the cheaper it is the more likely it is that it will have a shittier print heads and please before you buy any of this see how do you clean the print head please like or if you can't find a any guy to clean this print head either the printer is very new b or printer never jumps now that's unlikely that there is a printer that never jumps but sometimes it does happen because uh, canon has built a reputation about around themselves that their printer really rarely jumps like uh, they are very good with what they do so these are the solution that at this moment you can truly buy a printer that is a bit more expensive but you can actually print without you know pulling your hair out without you know worrying about whether oh, they're gonna jam it and not to mention this uh, actually bypasses all the third party issue you can use cheaper ink uh, why should you do that up to you you want to save uh, extra money go for it but be mindful ink may look like it's just a dye but it has some fancy complicated features into them and you can check uh, my video uh, description down below where they actually specify what is in the ink so if you ever seen experienced a uh, very cheaply printed ink basically third party ink and you like you know if once it's come out of printer it did like this on a print paper and it washes away that's because there is a lot of agents into the ink uh, binding agents uh, ethanol agents and things of that nature that helps it grasp onto the paper without that grasping your uh, basically the printout is very vulnerable to uh, what we call erosion basically you do like this yeah the ink will wash off and i'm not i'm not talking about water water will destroy any print but uh, like uh, if you want to have a fighting chance you better use f first party ink so watch that video you will understand now of course even then it's not that expensive company barely uh, you know makes uh, let's say one dollar per liter and they will sell you at like five hundred dollar per liter so so half of the evil has been reduced after this but please be mindful if it is too cheap do not touch it please just and before you buy please check how do you fix these things before you buy like some uh, you can fix s pen with uh, ammonia you can fix uh, hp with uh, uh, what we call isopropyl alcohol canons generally don't have issue plus please be mindful check that exact model check how our people are fixing it so please use a bit of caution and if it's too good to be true it generally is so this was my presentation on ink tank printers. Please be uh, mindful with your next purchase. I hope you liked it or learned from it. In that case, please leave a like. If you didn't, don't worry about it. You can dislike it. I would urge you to leave a comment and uh, please subscribe. Share it amongst your friends. Hashtag S2T. And uh, I would ask you to press the bell icon if you're free. And as always, thanks for watching.